And the bracket. A lot of characters. Each character representing what? Do we have no duplicates? Uh, we have two Yukaris. Two Yukaris, okay. And two Kens. Oh, yeah, I forget. Yep. Shaka. Shaka. You know, such a forgetful guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so we had two kids, two Yukaris, uh, Shadow Labyrinth, a Chie, uh, Akihiko, and Rise. Yeah. And surprisingly, actually, uh, mainly because people didn't, the characters, the people that played these characters did not enter, but um, no, not many of them at least. Um, no Yosuke and no Narakami this tournament. Oh, yeah. Um, That's, yeah, no Yosuke, no Narakami. Like, actually, at all. And I'm not sure. I, I can't say. I didn't see any in the casual setups or in the tournament. Yeah, that's really, really interesting. Yeah. No. Um, I, I know Naki LSG, he does play as Narakami, but he did not enter Persona. Yeah. Uh, Spark missing, but he plays Teddy, though. So, yeah, um, yeah no Yosuke, despite. A lot of the, bi lot of the bi big main characters, like the scariest characters, not in his tournament here. <laughs> so now we got Axis vs. DC, DC Optum with Yukari. I say this matchup I play a lot. Uh, pretty much, Yukari can win this matchup if she's able to keep the mid screen and keep her eyes on both Koromaru and Ken and manage them both with her zoning ability. And whenever she gets a good hit, take advantage of the damage. But if she gets put in the corner, this happens. <laughs> oh man, gets called out. Dog. Mm, input error. Yeah. Oh wow, too far out what you see there. But Ken is, oh man, and just as soon as I was going to say Koromaru is down, he comes up and resurrects. And now, all right, DC being very patient here. And that is plus. The B version of the pool is definitely plus. All right, nice combo here. Goes for Mom, Ender with a knockdown. All right, yes, in this matchup, you want to use Charm because silencing Ken does much nothing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nice. So, oh, takes yeah, down. Oh, gets good, gets on the dog. Dog oh, has a little alive for tomorrow. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Looking good. Uh, All right. This, oh, burst out does not want to deal with it. Now he's forced to block this. Nice. Gets yeah. out of the situation. It's all the AOA attempt. They get both attempted again, but respecting it because yeah. he knows he can get out of it. Yeah, he knows. Like, he's, um, oh, man, gets opened up. This could be in. Yeah. Axis takes the first game around here. In this situation, many characters have this weird situation when they're blocking uh, Ken in the corner, the dog can be used to their advantage, where in this case, for example, if Yukari DP'd out, he had 75 meter, he would have put just super cancelled into um, the, I believe it's Magaro Dines, like, uh, the double Magaro Dines yeah. to keep him safe and turn it around and keep, get his open. It's like, all the DP of his blocks, um, you can actually punish the Magaro Dine because Yukari is right next to you. You can, you can tap her or throw her. Uh, there's enough time before the startup of Mahagawa dying to uh, do that. Oh, nice roll there. And Axis, as DC was getting something going, Axis turns it around really quick. Nice job on the empty jump low. Nice jump low. Oh, yeah. DC's block is showing really well here. Gets called out on the roll, unfortunately. And so Axis here is going to take the pickup here. Oh, oh wow. And he gets hit by uh, Koromaru, unfortunately. Now, now DC's an awakening. This is a more favorable, favorable situation. Mid screen. You have burst, you have almost 150 meter. Oh, oh, oh no, AOA is blocked. No, oh. calls out the burst. This nice. could be it. And that is it. Yeah. Axis takes the first game. No yellow RCs in this game. Now it's just, <laughs> I was just caught out there. Yeah. And so now, going back to the character select. Axis is showing that he's really well versed in how to deal with Yukari and how to like keep her pinned down and how to deal with her. Um, Ways to escape. Let's see if DC sticks it out or will he switch it out to Mitsuru. Well, both matchups are very tough. They are very tough, and yet it's even matchup. As well as your alter ego. So, or is he just? DC probably gets some time to think. Yeah. yeah. Like after something like that, you kind of want to like settle down, think about what just happened. No, what I get punished on. What can I do to change yeah, things for the yeah. better? DC sticking it out with Yukari. See, and so I just feel like DC just needs to move around a little bit more and just be more aware of where Koromaru is. Um, and he can do a lot better. Um, Axis is pretty much playing the matchup well. He's uh, keeping her pressured, slowly pushing her to the corner. And then once he gets her in the corner, Yukari's in a really bad situation. Mm -hmm. So DC just needs to keep it mid screen and you know, make what hits he get count. And so here we are. 
This is still a loser's match. Loser goes home. All right. Oh, five breathe does not work. Omar runs under it. X is using Ken to crouch up here. All right. Calls the jump out with the um, dog there. Oh, man. He has pull. Oh. Fortunately, was not blocking. Nice disrespect. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right. Nice pickup. He's going to try to go for extra damage here. Oh, drops the combo. But, but oh. Omar, yeah. Omar there with the assist. This should be the round here. Well, DC is Axis, just... Axis taking, the per taking that with a perfect. And DC is fighting for tournament life right now. <laughs> but yeah, this matchup can be very rough for you, yeah. Kari. DC's still in good spirit, so he's just he's just a little exactly. nice you know, laugh with Axis there. <laughs> exactly. You know, we're having some fun here. You know, it's like, yeah, this matchup sucks, but you know, it's whatever. Like, we all, well, we all, at the end of the day, we're all having fun. We're all going out to get some food or something. We're all getting some drinks, not that. Having fun. Oh, oh nice. Yeah. Oh, he could have got nice damage off of that 5D starter. All right. I like the delay. Oh, he's hitting the AOA. Oh, oh wow. No, no, this is the, one hit. This one is the fatal launch, man. That could have really worked out well. All right, Carmel's down. This is uh, DC's chance. He can make it work. Oh, gets hit with a fatal there. Nice. Whoa, Whoa. they both AOA each other. <laughs> and X is out there to burst, keeping Yukari in the corner. Nice TP out. Nice air throw. And there we go, DC showing some life. Very good adjustments there. He was able to put Ken in the corner and keep him there. That's one of the helpful things about this matchup. Ken, Yukari can pressure Ken and keep him pinned down. All his normal, a lot of his normals are really slow, so he can't really disrespect unless you try to like, unless you mess up a frame trap. Oh, oh wow, he's called the bull and nice conversion. It's knocked down. Flies block on an empty jump low attempt there. TP's out. Yep, has to block. Nice. Oh, he yeah. tried to hit him during hits in when he was in hit stop. Throw him in while he's in hit stop, unfortunately. All right. DC right outside of Wicked Mode. Very scary situation. All right. Nice block. Does not get a counter. Oh, man. This is going to hurt. All right. It's knocked down. Oh, it's not blocked. Yeah. Picks it up. This is the game. I think, yeah. it was like, yeah, I think that was actually a fake cross up piece. I believe in my quirk, he can do a cross up. So. Yeah. And I think that's what Axis, uh, oh, that's what DC expected, but it didn't come. A lot of it really, really weirdly, really weirded cross ups in this game. Like, yes. like, yeah. <laughs> Some normals are just so big. Just like, man. But uh, DC out of the tournament, Axis advances. Let's see. DC made some good adjustments in that second game. It's just that he just was not able to capitalize on certain hits that he got. Um, very unfortunate because he could have had chances to turn it around like twice. Um, but you no, know, Axis you know, was able to sniff out the uh, the slip ups and jumped on it. And that's why he met Vances. No punishment.